um, there was uh, um, a announcement that the Coakley Landfill Group has hired a lobbyist. Um, I would, uh, Mr. Welch has uh, got forward brow. I'm having a headache. Uh, could you? I, I will. I will have a motion. But uh, would you uh, care to have a synopsis on that and its implications, please, sir? I guess my comment is I. I, I just I can't believe it. Um, the Coca Landfill Group, as I understand it, is composed of four entities, and there are two people, one, three people, uh, who represent those four entities. One person has two votes, and the other, each of the other two people, have one vote apiece. The major vote comes from the town council or the city solicitor for the city of Portsmouth. Um, I find it hard to believe that the city that is trying to um, preserve its funding by doing prudent management through its officials within the town are hiring a lobbyist to see that the prudent management isn't done. I guess that's the way I look at it. And I think that's just so contradictory to what normally should happen in a municipal government that I just, I, I'm afraid I don't understand it. It just it escapes me completely as to why this is being done. But it does seem to be like a, it's worse than a conflict of interest. It's, 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 I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it's even in the feasance area for that matter of fact. It's, it's, it's just something that shouldn't happen. The city of Portsmouth and the, the other towns that are involved should not be hiring a lobbyist to keep the state from enforcing the state and federal laws against their landfill. I don't see that. I, I, I would agree with that. And I, I would say that um, uh, uh, Jeff McMenemy uh, from Seacoast Online, that, that wonderful paper and that online uh, platform, um, uh, it states uh, that uh, uh, Rath Young and Pignatelli, there's a gentleman, uh, stated, Wallace stated that he will not be lobbying against any piece of legislation, Sullivan said. This is uh, Bob Sullivan, uh, who previously and importantly, this board unanimously uh, had sent a letter to as uh, the head of the CLG, the chief executive, if you will, that there was a conflict of interest. And then further on down in that article, asked if CLG's new lobbyists would end up lobbying against legislation at some point. Sullivan said, I'm not able to predict that future. Uh, so Portsmouth, uh, again, is uh, um, taking the CLG funds, uh, or, or the CLG rather is, and uh, Mr. Sullivan is further quoted as saying, it's impossible to say how much the lobbyists will be paid. So I think that's problematic. Uh, again, on September 7th, this board had sent uh, to the Portsmouth City Attorney, Mr. Sullivan, that uh, we unanimously felt that there was a, a conflict of interest. He had sent back us a letter September 15th. A week later, he came before this board and uh, gave us his presentation. In his letter, he states specifically, it is my role on the committee, that's the uh, uh, Coakley Landfill Group, if you will, to advance the interests of the city of Portsmouth in working on the Coakley Landfill Group. So by his own words, in his response to us, uh, he has um, uh, delineated his own conflict of interest. He talks about uh, um, the sage advice offered by Larry Miller uh, of the Northampton Select Board in this response as well. Uh, I'm not interested in uh, Selectman uh, 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 Miller's uh, sage advice. This is the town of Hampton, uh, the town of Northampton. Uh, I believe uh, Mr. Welch uh, is a uh, responsible party. Uh, again, we've got an apparent conflict of interest. I uh, totally disagree with uh, the uh, Mutual Admiration Society by people that are responsible parties to include uh, Mr. Miller and Mr. Sullivan with their mutual admiration that they um, put in letters to each other in responses to us <coughs> in the Coakley Landfill Group. I would leave it uh, to the attorney uh, for the town of Hampton to develop some courses of action to protect us with this latest development. As you know, I'm on the uh, Cancer uh, Cluster Commission. I do not speak as a rep on this issue. I am speaking as a selectman. We have a uh, well that has been shut down. We are now talking about mixing water from that well. Uh, this summer, uh, there was a representative, an employee of Aquarian Water that came into this building and said he did not favor mixing 
uh, water, in blending water. And now that tune has changed uh, subsequent to the uh, stock transfer with Eversource. So now we're mixing uh, uh, carcinogens to, to lower the rate. We have the CLG hiring a lobbyist. Hampton has no course of action that we've delineated. So I know Mark is, is on vacation. And if he could, with, with, um, without uh, a vote or a move, I think there would be general consent to have Mark develop some courses of action, specifically um, to uh, send a letter to the Portsmouth City Council to, um, based on Mr. Miller, the selectman from Northampton, his, uh, uh, what Mr. Sullivan uh, self-righteously proclaims as sage advice about his performance, uh, that we um, correspond with the town of Northampton selectman, that we uh, correspond with the city council in Portsmouth. And additionally, when we went through the uh, Public Utilities Commission's uh, Chairman Hornenberg stated uh, that if we have any concerns that are related to this PFC, PFOA, uh, and other carcinogens, that we would have a direct recourse with the PUC, that he develop a course of action for some, some filings on behalf of Hampton to protect ourselves, to include uh, the realization of the notion that why, if the Copley Landfill Group is paying uh, a prominent law firm in Concord, why we will have to end up paying uh, for testing through rates with Aquarian or now Eversource. And where is the equity for that in, in people in this town? Portsmouth, as you know, uh, uh, gorged themselves on the MBTE uh, uh, disbursement of funds. Hampton got nothing. They've lined up for that up in the Lamprey River, up in Madbury, uh, into some of their statutory obligations to um, uh, um, provide water for people that they had uh, um, uh, damage their water supply in, in Portsmouth. So they're receiving hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of funds. Uh, and uh, they are masters of the universe when it comes to this. They do not have a well closed down. They do not have a water supply that's threatened. Northampton is is uh, uh, in step with them, in lockstep with them. Their board of selectmen and the CLG. And we need to protect our interests. And I think the uh, town attorney needs to address those, provide some courses of action to protect us and to uh, uh, provide us some courses of action to uh, address, as uh, Chairman Hornenberg did uh, during our Public Utilities Commission hearings, that we have rights of redress directly with the PUC and that we affect those and that we send those downrange and, and have those... Uh, our, our day in front of the commissioners. So that's what I, I would suggest going forward, Madam Chair. So we need consensus from the board to have. You do. Do we have consensus? Sounds like we do. Thank you. We shall prepare that documentation. Thank you for that. 